What's going on YouTube? It's Pretty Bar Prepper. Coming back to you with a question. Should I carry concealed with a round in the chamber? We're going to talk about it. Let's get started. What's up YouTube? It's Pretty Boy Prepper coming to you again. Tonight, we're, like I said, we're going to talk about should I carry concealed with the round in the chamber? And it's going to be a pretty short video because it's a pretty easy question to answer. Yes. <laughs> That's very simple in, in my opinion. That's if you carry open carry, um, if you carry um, in the waistband holster, or if you carry in your belt without a holster. You kind of want to have that weapon ready to go in the event that you need it. The last thing you need to do is see someone pull a, a weapon on you and, or one of your family members and you got to unholster it, cock it, put it on target, and then prepare to shoot. By this time, you're already shot and dead, or someone's already shot and dead, whether that be you or the person you're trying to protect. So you got to think about what I want to do and how I want to do it. How do I want to be safe? How do I want to carry it efficiently? And to have that weapon ready to go when you pull it is what you want to do. Okay, just being more specific on this particular case, you kind of want to make sure that you are familiar with your weapon. Most times, if you are unfamiliar with your weapon, you're not sure whether or not you want to carry openly or you're not sure you want to carry in the waistband, you already ask yourself too many questions. You got to put some thought into these things. You got to train with it. Um, you hear people, you know, down rating people and telling them all oh, it's stupid to carry open carry or I don't want to carry in the waistband because it had, it's uncomfortable. That is all personal opinions, everyone. These are all personal opinions. So in my personal opinion, I advise you to just see what fits you. If you're going to be the one carrying this gun, you're going to be the one that's making a decision to protect yourself and your loved ones. You're the one that went out and purchased a carry and conceal permit. You're the responsible person that decided to purchase a weapon. And you were the responsible one to realize that you need something in this day and age to protect yourself. So be responsible enough to say, well, you know, I'm going to do this in order to keep my family safe. So if carrying open is comfortable for you, carry open familiarize yourself with your weapon find the most comfortable way for you to carry your weapon find a way for this weapon to be protected in a holster where you will not have to be concerned with the weapon discharging while you um, are you know carrying it or in, in your daily activities if you're going to have it inside the waistband make sure that it's comfortable for you to be able to remove it quickly if need be and make sure that it's not going to discharge while inside your waistband do all these things and then once you've done that, you know, you should be good to go because you can you can do this very easily. You can you can have a cheap holster. Um, you can have a a um, a mid grade holster, kind of like the the Black Hawk ones. I actually carry a Black Hawk for uh, for my Glock. Uh, but you can also get some of the uh, Galco leather custom made ones. So I mean, don't get caught up on the, the logistics. Be smart be efficient and just use your best judgment by all means take a look at a lot of youtube videos you know you can get good, good ideas from um, some people but take some of this stuff with a grain of salt you know because everyone that, that claims to be a professional is not i've heard people say i work police i've done military but i don't believe in open carry all police carry open this is uh, that, that's a stupid for anyone to say that and if anyone that said that and they're supposed to be a big YouTube professional or they do training all the time they don't like that I said it so what but that's the truth I mean if you are an ex-police officer and you don't believe in open care why were you ever a police officer you knew then that they cared openly they carried a, a gun belt with 40 different things wrapped around it and they oftentimes pull the gun when they mean to pull the taser I guess that's that good training but that's another another um, another video but I'm just going to, this is just Pretty Boy Prepper coming to you again, talking about what I'm talking about. Today we're talking about carrying 
with open uh, or closed carry uh, or in the waistband carry whip around in the chamber to protect yourself my hand goes up for agreeing with anyone that agrees with carrying a rod in the chamber to be ready when you snatch that monkey out of the tree it's ready to swing so again it's pretty well prepper just talking about what i'm talking about we out